a good question. I find myself, I, everyone I've spoken to kind of ebbs and flows one week and um, you're pretty motivated the next week you're not. So I find if I fall out of my routine, I, I kind of lose it. So I'd recommend trying to get up at a set hour, whether it's eight or nine in the morning and, and kind of maybe right now what your routine for the day is going to be. Because I, like I said, I know when I don't do that, my days go um, pretty poorly. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend just trying to stick to a routine, whether it's getting up early and then send out your target of your day or what you want to achieve. It's, it's starting to hit home way more now, the more um, I kind of see those older games, uh, whether it's the Ulster Final 99 or um, a couple of other games I've seen on uh, TV. So um, for the first week or two, it was kind of nice to, to have a little break uh, for the body, coming back off the Six Nations and stuff. Um, it was quite a busy time. So yeah, now I'm, I'm pretty sick and not playing. And, uh, sometimes not even the training that you miss, it's, it's definitely the games and the Kings fan that I personally miss way more. And, I've actually found myself watching some of our old games um, on TV and, and, and whenever I watch it, uh, it gets a bit sad that we haven't played there in so long. So yeah, that's kind of the thing driving me to stay um, pretty pretty involved and in, in whether that's my skill work or my gym work, that's kind of the thing motivating me at the moment, just getting back playing there. I like my J Cup. Um, I've kept in touch with Craig Gilroy quite a lot. Uh, Louis Ludic, I've been in touch with quite a lot. Um, I've been on to a good few of them, Jordy Murphy as well and Stu McCluskey, so um, we, we've been pretty pretty good as a squad trying to stay in touch and in contact with each other and we've also WhatsApp group where it uh, stays in connected, so it's, it's been very good. Uh, the new Call of Duty Warzones, uh, it's probably not a hobby but something I find myself playing a bit too often at the moment. Um, I bought a keyboard months ago and it's still sitting uh, idle up in one of the rooms, so um, I bought a chair so that I'd sit in front of it and try and, and start doing that again. So, yeah, maybe I should do and practice what I preach and, and put that into my uh, diary as something I should do. Um, and also mindfulness, actually. I'm, I'm trying to do that 10 to 20 minutes a day, um, making sure I'm, we made a little uh, corner in our house uh, with a beanbag there you can sit out and light a candle. So that's kind of helped um, with my mind. Um, I actually watched an unbelievable documentary on Netflix the other day and it's called Last Breath, which I don't know how I've never seen. It's about deep sea diving um, and divers going down to oil mines and it's I couldn't recommend it more. It's unbelievable. Probably one of the most gripping things I've ever watched. And then definitely the, the Last Dance of Michael Jordan documentary. Um, even watching that makes me want to go back to play because uh, the com competitiveness he shows um, kind of wants you to go out and win. So. Yeah, that, that makes me really want to win some of the Ulster as well, watching that and um, get to kind of celebrate the way they did. Um, it would be amazing. I've had some very, very good moments. Um, it was obviously incredibly heartbreaking that quarterfinal last year against Leinster, but I don't think I've ever been as proud as, of the team coming out and giving everything in a game. So um, I know we're all hurting after that, but I think we, we gave it our all. That was huge. And just to see the fans, um, I remember with the Dan Levy injury, and looking up into the crowd and seeing how much louder it was from our fans and the Leinster fans and, and that being a technical home game for them. So I think that was probably one of the proudest moments I've been for Ulster and um, definitely with the fans watching and um, singing that everywhere we go chant. Um, and then just some of the home games. Um, I remember Munster at home, uh, even this year where we, we played incredibly well and won by I think around 20 points. That was that was very good and it's generally the interpros that you remember at home. Um, especially around Christmas time, so they've all been pretty, pretty wonderful.